Okay, now in part two here for our heat exchanger, so this is still problem two, let's try and play around with getting a, a cost estimate. And so I'm gonna come into my heat exchanger, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, I, I do wanna play around with uh, trying to calculate the heat transfer coefficient in, in area specified, right? And so I could do that by specifying the area per shell or the heat transfer coefficient if I, if I know it. Okay. Um, you'll see under you know, there's there's more work I can calculate here in terms of miscellaneous settings. Um, and then this is going to be our cost estimate tab in terms of trying to come up with an estimate of the cost of the seed exchanger. Okay. And right now it's listed as, as a shell and tube. And so if we're going to use a shell and tube, all right, let's try and list, say, an area per a shell. Um, and so, you know, it needs to specify... Um, one or or the other, right? And so I'm going to specify an area per shell of, okay, oh, I'm just going to make something up, 10 meters squared. Okay, and so if I specify an area of 10 meters squared, ah, yeah, okay. So I've got an estimate of 10 meters squared, right? So then it calculates uh, my heat transfer coefficient here. It calculates my, so again, that's the area that I specified. Okay, that's that's good. And so now if I come over to uh, cost estimates, okay. so there's shells and series and all of that good stuff. Um, if I keep it at shell and tube, let's just see, if I do run cost estimate, let's see, does that, does that do the trick? So if I come over to my cost estimate, yeah, so now that I have a shell and tube, Okay, and again, chill and tube, I specified that, you know, calculated area total. I said I have a total area is 10 meters squared. Okay, and that came from here, right, this area per shell. Okay, um, so it's calculated my total area of 10 meters squared because I, I haven't specified number of uh, tubes or anything of that nature. And so, you know, in this case, they fill in a default install factor of 2, uh, material factor of just 1, pressure factor and type factor, right, and they come up with, you know, assuming carbon steel, right, here is my basic costs, about $7,000, um, so estimated purchase cost, $8,500, and then my install cost is $17,000, right, and you can play with this, so that's carbon steel, if I were to make it titanium, all right, what happens, all right, and so when I run it, Right. The effect of the install cost is, well, the base cost goes up, um, the total purchase cost goes up, the total purchase cost is now $30,000, and then the install cost is over $60,000. Right? Again, compare that to carbon steel. Okay, carbon steel, right? the install cost is you know, 17000 so it's less than a third of what it is in titanium. Right. And, you know, these issues come up or, you know, concepts come up in terms of when we were in mass transfer, we would talk about, um, you know, operating ranges, ideal operating ranges for my steam. Yeah. So in this problem, I have saturated steam, um, which is, you know, um, so we have we have saturated steam at about 373 Kelvin. Right. I could also have, you know, steam at 600 Kelvin, right? The issue, though, is, is as that temperature increases, it may change the material requirements for, you know, my piping and, and unit ops, okay? And so, you know, if I had to use something like titanium, well, then the cost of that unit op is, is going way up, okay? Um, and so you can play around with this, okay? I am I am by no means a um, an expert, right? But we had specified area per shell of, of 10, we could try playing around with, you know, number of shells in series. You know, let's see if I have 10 shells in series. Okay, let's see what happens. So if I have 10 um, shells in series, right, still using that same total area, right, it doesn't seem to change my install cost or anything like that, right? And so I think... I think you just need to play with the settings, right? And you can see what makes an effect or not. Okay, so yeah, it still has the same area, same number of passes, right? And, and still the same cost estimate. But, you know, one is, you know, you can play around um, and, and yeah, see. So 
double pipe I think is a whole nother business right so let me just keep it at shell and tube okay um, but yeah so there's very primitive cost estimate um, you know again what I had to specify is you need to specify the area per shell and then you need to come over to the cost estimate and check the box okay at the very least and then you can change um, you know, we were playing around with the material, but we left everything else for default for, for KempCAD to fill in. Okay, so have fun with the cost estimate. Um, experiment, see what, you know, makes an effect. And yeah, let's go from there.